Good morning, it's Michelle Dale Martin here at A1 Vacuum and Sewing in Reno. And this is a little follow-up video to um, Jeannie's uh, newfound love of the Scan and Cut. I love it that she loves the Scan and Cut. So in her tutorials for hopping down the bunny trail on the uh, couple of sew-alongs that she's done, she's really used her Scan and Cut and she's used it paired with her um, either her Luminaire or her Avenir, where she can send wirelessly directly to the scan and cut. But if you're not on a brother machine or um, um, the baby lock machines, you can't send it wirelessly to the scan and cut, but you can do the same thing within the uh, color change icon on the machine itself, you can choose applique material as a color and then put it on a USB and take it to the scan and cut. Unfortunately, if you don't have a brother or baby lock machine, you don't have that color choice available to you. What you're looking at is Simply Applique software. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Simply Applique. And um, then you can cut all of your pieces on your scan and cut. So I'm going to begin by checking a couple of things. Um, I, over here in the upper left, just right below the select key, is a select thread chart. If you left click on that, you'll see that there's a ton of different um, threads built in. But for the purposes of this tutorial, you want it on Brother Embroidery because that's where you're going to find that color selection of applique material. And then if you go all the way to the end and you click on these arrows here, you'll see that here's where they are. Applique material, applique position, applique. These are those three little magic um, colors that when you're trying to integrate your scan and cut um, will help you uh, segment those pieces. All right, so I'm ready to begin. So I'm going to go up here to my applique button or my simply applique um, uh, button for choices is the choice button. And I'm going to select to open. I can also just click up here in the folder in the top. I can click open. And I'm going to click on the um, the design you guys were using for this sew along, and that's the hopping down the bunny trail. If I look at this, I see that it has several appliques in it. I want to cut all of these on my scan and cut. So on the left side of the screen, you will see your um, sequence view. This is all the color change um, sequences that you see on your machine. Um, I did kind of work with this design previously in you can actually convert also the post that goes down the middle but when it converts it makes it all small little pieces so that one might be best left just cut normally but as far as the signs the bunny ears and the chicken we're going to make those so that you can take them to your scan and cut so in the sequence view i want to isolate those the applique so the three parts of an applique are placement attack down and a finishing I want to find the placement line. The placement line is the one I would select because that's only going to be a single run. Sometimes when you have a tack down line, it, run, a tack down line, it goes around twice. If you were to convert that line, it would be fine. The problem is the scan and cut's going to go around twice because it's reading that data. I want to select the placement line. So it's going to be the first one. So over here on the left, I can see if I left mouse click on that, it puts a box around that. So I know I'm working with that one. All I have to do is go up here to the end in my color sequencing and select applique material. Notice how it changes that color to applique material. Now I'm gonna go down to the next one. I'm gonna left click on it. I've selected the next sign. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select applique material as it's um, my choices down to the next one and the same thing applique material and then I'm going to scroll just a little bit more I'm going to grab my little chick there applique material and the bunny ears applique material so I've got five selections here I can send them in I can convert them individually but what I want to do is convert them all at the same time because that way I can bring it over to the scan and cut and I can just move the pieces around to the fabric that I need to cut on. So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna hold down to my control key 
on my keyboard and I'm going to left mouse click on the pieces that I changed. So I have those five pieces that say applique material. I'm going up to the toolbar now at the very top of the ribbon. I'm going to select tools and then I'm going to click skin and cut. Ooh, see how easy that was? These are now pieces that are separated so that I can take them to my scan and cut. To save them out, and you can save them to a USB, I'm going to, again, click on the application button. That was that word that was missing in my vocabulary a minute ago. And then I'm going to select export FCM because that's what a scan and cut reads as an FCM. And I'm going to title this Hoppin Down the Bunny Trail. It's best if you name it, because if you don't name it, it's going to say um, unnamed FCM file. And after a while, you'll end up with a lot of those. But if you name it, you know what it is. And then I'm going to click Save. All right. So once that's saved, I can take that over to the Scan and Cut um, in my preferred method. If you have Canvas and you want to send it through Canvas, you can certainly import the FCM file. The other thing that I love about this program is under the application button, you might have noticed that under the exports, I can also export this as an SVG file. So if you have a different cutting machine that does not read an, an FCM, which is native to a scan and cut, then you can export it as an SVG and be on your happy hoppy little way of cutting all of your um, applique pieces from your cutting machine. So this is simply applique. Um, and you know, it's just a great small little software program. Um, easy to use, easy to remember, and um, here you go.